Chickens are more plentiful than people in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, but a severe strain of avian flu is taking a toll on the poultry population here and around the country. And restrictions meant to prevent the spread of the virus are taking away a source of income for farmers like Jeffrey Mitchell. So how long has it been since you've had chickens here? It was January 27th when the last of them left. He sells his birds for meat. His four chicken houses are currently empty. Well, I've never had the disease on my farm that I know about. So, um, you know, they're being, being kept away from me for safety reasons um, because uh, the disease is in the area. Uh, it's in the quarantine area, as am I. Avian flu, along with inflation, helped drive up the price of eggs as much as 70% last year in the United States, the world's largest producer and second largest exporter of poultry. The virus is carried in the droppings of migratory birds. This latest variant has not only spread like wildfire among poultry, it's also been found in mammals as well, raising the specter of a human outbreak. A droplet of manure about the size of my fingernail, for example, would be enough to infect a flock very easily. If Scientists at Penn State yeah. University are working to educate backyard chicken owners as well as farmers to reduce the spread. Humans should not be worried simply because only 2% of our population is actively working in agriculture. And so the majority of our, our public are consumers of our poultry and eggs, and those uh, are safe because they're inspected before they're put out into the supermarkets. I think for us, the worst case scenario is seeing this continue to spread. The state's governor has also set aside $25 million from next year's budget to compensate farmers, another $6 million for testing. But as this latest strain of avian flu shows no signs of abating, some in the industry say vaccinating chickens should also be on the table. You know, since 2015, a number of different outbreaks, uh, billions of dollars spent on indemnification, um, you know, 100 million birds uh, put down. Uh, it deserves serious uh, consideration at this point in time. They say more needs to be done to keep this vital food supply safe. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, Lancaster, Pennsylvania.